loving, I'm tipsy cause I've been sipping on Henny I got the study of my vision and she ain't from the city And she ain't foreign and she boring, love the way you twerk and shot What's up everybody welcome back to the channel I'm Evil Rabbit here on a set of Corsa on the Xbox One I did turn it on just to see and it looks like they had an update I'm not sure when it happened because I was on this the other day and I didn't notice the update so I'm kind of a little confused on what happened so but in this update that I have noticed if it's been updated for a while let me know down in the comment section down below but it's the first time I'm seeing it I went over into options because I wanted to, you know, adjust my force feedback settings. And I noticed that there's presets now and a create button. So I went into create. We have the ability to map controls now, which we never had before. Everybody really wanted this and, you know, everybody was like, why can't we map controls? So now we have the ability to map controls and we can map anything. So, see, I have my hand rank on X, just hit the X button, or if I do this, and so if I want to switch it, you know, paddle, or, you know, say, you know, Y, you know, minimum function, you can only have two functions per, you know, hand rank on Y, you go back to X. So, we have the ability now to map controls, which is actually extremely awesome. So, with that being said, we're going to go, uh hop into a track that I'm not sure I've never driven before and we're just gonna rip this thing so I would see if maybe the maybe the driving characteristics have changed or anything on those lines but for the fact that now we can map controls it's pretty interesting for everybody that left a set of Corsa because they couldn't map B as their handbrake um, because they had it wired into B and they didn't want to wire it into like X or something like that because Forza you know you can have on B and stuff and you know a set of Corsa always had it on X so with this now we can map our controls so we give the ability to go back to mapping it to say like b instead of you know that being stuck on x which is actually an extremely big thing that everybody's been wanting on a set of course on the xbox one so it looks like they actually listened and they decided to do it so i wonder you know if they're actually going to you know fix the servers and you know work maybe give us more cars who knows? So we are here in the E30. Now I did notice on the bottom, I'm not sure if this is new either, but I've never noticed it before. There's a, there's a button called adjust cockpit view. And uh, you have the ability to literally move your guy in the cockpit. Now, and change the field of view too. Now, I don't know if this is new or not, but I mean, this is, this is pretty cool. The fact that you can just, you know, change your view now, because before we couldn't do this, I don't think if I'm wrong, com you know, let me know down in the comment section down below if this has been a thing and I've just never noticed it, but I kind of like the fact that we can just sit here and adjust our driver and change our field of view a little bit. I wish we could do it like on the hood view and stuff, but we can only do it on this. So we're going to save this view and uh, we're going to drive because, you know, now we have, we have this change a little bit. Our e-brakes working. Let's, uh, let's rip this and see, you know, get some slides going. I do miss being on a seto. I, I'm working on fixing my PC to get a seto back on the PC so I can get all the mods going. I'm hoping maybe that they're gonna allow us to have different cars here soon. You know, we can dream that you know the mods and stuff would come to Xbox One, but I know it's probably not gonna happen. So I am gonna be trying to rebuild my PC since my graphic card decided to take a crap. But for the time being. The fact that we can map controls now on the Xbox One, I'm wondering if that's going to bring some people back onto the Xbox One in the Seto. Maybe, you know, there'll be some more people doing some tandems and stuff on the Seto on the Xbox One, which would be extremely awesome. Yeah, I don't know this track at all. So I'm just kind of winging it right now, literally, gripping the e-brake and praying. Uh, except I feel there's a coming up here so if like I said if this 
has been a thing for a really long time, let me know now in the comment section down below because maybe it has been and maybe my game just never updated because I was on this game the other day and this wasn't a thing. So I don't know if it was just a recent update because it also allowed me to get on a seto without having to turn off uh, my internet connection because before I couldn't get on a seto without ha being offline. Like now I don't think there's any servers open per se, but you know. This is a big deal, though, the fact that we can, you know, not drift because we're doing horrible right now. So let's go see if the servers are up and see if we can't get some slides going with some people. Probably not, though. Online. Probably no servers. Yeah, no servers found. So let's create a lobby. Name of my lobby. Public. Select track. I don't think we can select. Yeah, see, we can't even select... The drift, oh, we can select the drift track. Drift track. Increases time. Uh, we're just going to increase practice time as high as we can. Okay. We're going to go over here. Auto clutch off. Track control factory. Split control off. Tire mount off. Tire blanketing on. Sure. Fuel rate, allowed tires out. Okay, we're gonna leave all of that. Select cars. Rid of all of those. Where's the BMWs? I don't think anybody's gonna actually join in, you know, per se. Right now. Can we have two of those? We can. All BMW lobby. Sure. Create. Is it going to let me create it? Lobby name already exists. Okay, so I like how it says all exist, but it won't let me see them. Create. I know nobody has EVL. There we go. Yep. 15 E30s available. Here's the drift section, so I can create lobbies now. So that's good. So we can map our controls. We have the field of view change, which I don't know if that's new or not. And, you know, the lobbies are back being created. Whether I just can't see them for some reason and there's a, something I need to do to change that, let me know down in the comment section down below if you know how to fix how to get the lobbies visible on Xbox One. So we do have a lobby open. I don't think anybody's gonna join, but I just wanted to try to see if that works and actually get some drifting on a track that I kind of know how at on a track that I'm not sure about. So a set of course have made a few changes. I'm kind of excited about it because I'm hoping it brings more people back into a seto on the Xbox One, even though I am going to be rebuilding the PC like I said before. Oh the, the physics and the smoothness of a seto is far none my favorite. Except for when you do that, and then you crash, and you crack your windshield. So, if you guys want to get and do some Xbox set of Corso lobbies, let me know down in the comment section down below. Now that they have done some changes to it, maybe we can get, you know, a good drift lobby and a tandem going now that we can actually choose, we can create the actual drift part. Because I don't believe before we could not, you know, make a lobby, a personal lobby on this track. We had to do the preset lobbies. So that's also, I believe, a new change here on a seto. So there's a lot of few things that I've noticed. A lot of few. Listen to me. A lot of things I've noticed that are different on a seto recently in the past two days. So, you know, hopefully this brings some people back to the Xbox One a seto because, you know, I know there's a lot of people that don't play a seto because they can't modify their wheel setting to you know have you know handbrake on say b or something because they only have it wired into you know b for you know like forza and they don't want to you know wire in another thing or another set of wires or anything you know i have multiple sets of wires but i did that 
you know, for my own personal use. But, you know, some people don't want to do that. Some people don't really want to crack open, you know, and have multiple sets of wires hanging out of their wheel because of the, you know, the rotation of spinning of the wheel and it breaking and stuff like that. That's why I have my buttons off to the side. So, a set of Corsa, a couple updates. Pretty cool. So, I guys, just wanted to bring a little video to you guys about, you know, the updates to see if maybe, you know, you guys knew about this updates and, you know, I just didn't. I'm you know, stupid. Who knows? Because it's very likely that, that it's been out for a while and I just never actually updated my Assetto game. Even though I was on Assetto the other day, drifting around, I really wish the servers would show up for me. I don't know what's going on with that. I have to look a little more into that. Because I do like drifting here on Assetto. It's a lot more fun for me, a lot smoother, but I do want to get some people in here and, you know, get some tandems going. So, like I said, if you guys want to do a tandem session on a set of course on the Xbox One, let me know down in the comment section down below. Just a little curb hop, we're good. We're good. So, I think that's going to be here for this episode here on Assetto. So, Assetto, I feel, has a couple updates, which is kind of cool. As you notice, I am driving an automatic because, unfortunately, I cannot map my shifter as a button. It won't let me. But I do want to get more into the racing aspect here on Assetto. So, I have to uh, build my sequential mod box so that I can actually use... Uh, basically a sequential shifter or mount paddles up on my on my rig which I may actually do with just some simple buttons on the sides but this M235 does sound incredible uh, that turn was a lot sharper than I thought so if you guys want to see more a set of course and maybe some racing on a set of course if you guys want to get into a drift lobby like I said comment down in the comment section down below and as always, guys, you can follow me on Facebook, Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram. All of which are found in the description box below. I do love that steering wheel with the ship lights. It's a very expensive steering wheel. I know that for a fact. I've seen it before on a real car, and it's expensive. So until next time, guys, I'm Evil Rabbit, and I'm going to rip this M235 around the wolf a little bit and see what we can do for time-wise. So until next time, guys, like thank you guys for watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. And I'm out.